straw. Well, hello everyone. I'm Tina. Let's draw, okay? Have you got your pencils ready and our paper? Okay, once again, we're going to start off everything with a circle. We said that the circle is an indication where the different parts are going to go. So we're going to leave a little gap. We're going to put another one here and a small one just beside it. Okay, moving down, we have a squash circle here and another one there. Okay, now I'm just going to join these up so you can see where we're going with it. There's, there's one curve line, joining those two up for the tummy, coming out for the back leg and down. That's the thigh there and the same for the front. Okay, now once again we're going to start off up at the north. There we have, down the bottom we have the slippery slide, we have the south pole. Over here we have the windy west and here we have the east side. Once again, with your pencil, you keep your pencils nice and light. We're going to start to the north and bring it down to the south and stop it just there. And from the windy west all the way across to the east side. Where the two lines meet becomes the centre of our character's face. And that's where we find the nose. Okay, so we're going to just put in the nose here. Alright. Just above the nose we have the eyes. There's one. And there's the other. Inside the eyes we have the pupils. Two more circles. There's one and there's the other. And then what we're going to do up here we're going to put on the ears. There's one and there's the other. Okay, so we leave it at that. I'm going to change my black felt tip pen. You hold on to your pencils. And starting at the top one more time. Up here, starting at the north, okay, and here we go. Starting at the north, we're going to bring it, follow the curve line all the way down to the west and stop it just there. Watch where I stopped it. Okay, starting at the north here, we're going over here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the eyebrow. There we go, because we said eyebrows help us with the facial expression. There's one and there's the other. We're going to bring it down and stop it just there. Now, the reason being is that we can see most of this here. So we're going to bring it out and around. And then we're going to put the fold in the ear. See that? And show there's a little bit of fur in there. There we have our little bits of fur. On this side here, we're going to bring it out and down. We have a little curve line there for the inside of the ear on the other side. Coming down here now to the eyes. Now the eyebrows, like I said to you about the eyes, is that the circles give us an indication where they're going to be. But I'm going to change the shape. I'm going to follow it up. See, but I'm bringing it down. There's one. And the same on this side. Bring it down and curve it up. Okay. We're going to put in the curve line like a rainbow. Then we put in another little curve line here. Bring it over and stop it just there. And the same on the other side. Okay, finish off the pupils here, follow the circle around and what we're going to do is we're going to put in the reflection of the light and once you put the reflection of the light in, they appear to be alive like you and I. I'm going to shade in around that. There's one and there's the other. Okay, now moving down, what we're going to do here is that we're going to give the shape, we're going to bring it out break it up, bring it down, join it up and stop it just there. And the same on the other side, we're going to bring it out and in and stop it just there. Now I'm going to follow the nose, see there? There we have the little nose. Once again I'm going to put in a little squash circle there and shade that in. Give you a few minutes there to catch up. Okay, yeah, ready to go. Here we go. Watching this, we're going to bring it around and down and stop it just there. And the same on this side, okay? Bring it around. But I'm going to follow this in here, look. And there's the other cheek on the other side. Now I'm going to give him his mouth a little bit. Look at that. Up and then all the way over. 
and then we're going to put in a little curved line for the cheek line. Now we're going to open the mouth, drop down, look at that, bring it back up and stop it just there. We put in his little tongue because the mouth is open and then once we have that we can see his little teeth. Bring that, look at that. All right, now here we're going to follow it down for the chin, bring it back up, and there we have our little cartoon character's mouth. And it's open, okay? And to show that, I'm going to shade that in there, and the same on this side, look at that. Okay, now, moving down now to the rest of the body, all right? We're going to put a curved line here and a curved line there, and that's for the neck. Then we're going to follow this line all the way over the shoulders, down to the back, bring it back around to the back of the leg and down and stop it just there. Now the next thing I'm going to put on is his tail. Watch this, we're going to bring it in and it's a small little tail because he is after all only a little kitty cat. And then here we go, we have it here, bring it down for the thigh and stop it just there. And then we're going to follow that up and around on that squash circle and we're going to put two little lines there for the two toes. Now we're going to the front. Once again, we're going to bring that around and down. And then the same for the front of the leg. Bring it down. Follow this up and over and back up. And two other little curved lines for his other two toes. Now we're going to go for the tummy. Watch this. Join them up there. There's one. And it's the tummy to the front. Now, he looks as though he's standing there on two legs, but we know that this little kitty cat has four. But then you're saying to yourself, what kind of a cat is a Tina? Well, this is where it gets interesting. There's one, and here, the one in behind, and there's the other. Now he has his four legs, but I want to make him into a little tiger. So a little tiger has loads and loads of little stripes. There's one. There's another one. Here we go down on the neck. One, two, three, four, even on the tail. Now this takes a little bit of time getting all this in. All right, bring it up around the tummy. There we go. Around the front of him there and around his front leg. And there we have our little kitty cat. Okay, now we're going to put our little kitty cat somewhere. We're going to put him on the ground and for that we're going to put in the horizon line. And there we go. And that tells us where the ground is and where the sky begins. I'm just going to change my black felt tip pen. Hold on. Here we go. Now this will be better. Now in the background here what we're going to do is we're going to put him that he's in the forest. There we have a nice big tree, number 11. All right, and there how you know, up, down, up, down, all around, up, down, up, down, grass to be found. And they love the grass, why? Up, down, up, down, all around, up, down, up, down, grass to be found. Because in the long grass, they have cover. They can sleep nice and quietly, and nobody will know they're even there because what will happen is, as, as the time goes on, um, everyone likes to have a snooze, a nice quietly one. Or if they're creeping up and it's giving their friends a surprise, look at that. And there we have the tree in the background. See, we put the bush in front, tree behind, and here's the canopy of the tree, look at that. Now, I want to show that this is the ground here. Put in a few little pebbles, maybe a flower or two. There's one, and there's the other. And this one, we could put it that he's at the coming out of the pond. Look at that. The ripples of the water is probably down at the pond having some drink. All right, now we have that. Now we're going to go and colour. Now, once again, I'm going to start off at the top. We have our sky. We're going to bring it over. Remember, there's different shades of blue as well. 
I like using the crayons because they, they can spread so you can use the side or the point of the crayon. You might have twistables or you might have paint. Whatever you'd like to have at hand. All right, there we go. And not forgetting the little bit there at the back. Looks like the sky's gone down behind the tree. Look at that in the bushes. But it's not, it's way up in the air. Now, we're going for our trees. Put in our tree trunks. And this side of the bushes is going to be in a little bit of shade. I'm going to add that in. Look at that. Just by getting a little bit heavier with your crayon look, as in shading. Underneath the canopy there, it'll be darker. And all the way across. See that? There we go. Now we're going to put in the canopy, the trees. I'm using a light green. I'm using squirrels. Look at that. Going all around the garden like a teddy bear. Okay, one step, two step, and we're nearly, nearly there. All the way across. And the reason why I'm starting off with a lighter colour, I'll tell you now. And underneath there, a little bit darker. Because when the foliage and the new leaves are coming out, they're all real bright and, and lovely light green. And then we can add in the darker green. And that gives you that it's the leaves have come out of being asleep all over the winter time. There we go. And the same on the other side. Now, if you like, you can put a little bird up there in the, in the tree. Or maybe, do you know something? I'd put in a nest, a busy bee nest, look at that. Okay, a little bee twirling around there. Meow. Colour that in yellow. And there we have our beehive. Moving down here to our little tiger. And our little tiger is orange, orange and black. So this really help him to stand out, look at that. I think I can add in a few little stripes there on his head more, yeah, and on his ear because he needs to be disguised there, hiding in the grass, in the long grass. There we are, bring it all the way down. Not forgetting his tail because sometimes I forget the tail. We can't do that, sure we can't. Not today. Bring it all the way down. Same on this side and underneath. Now I'm going to pick out a different orange and the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to get it darker. See that? Adding some shading. Same on that side. On his little cheek there and around his eyes and the top of his nose. All right. Underneath his tummy is darker. Look at that. And all the time what you're doing is you're layering it up. All right. In the background there, more shading. His rump. There we have it on his shoulders. See that? Okay, now we can add in some um, black there for the stripes. And this is where you can take your time doing it because you can add in as many stripes as you like. All right. But the stripes are very important to the tiger because that helps him hide in the long grass. Lots and lots of stripes. Oh my goodness, are we near the end? Oh, we are. We're near the end. Okay. Oh, I forgot his tummy there. Look at that. Tina, there we go. And there we have his stripes done. Not forgetting his little tongue. His mouth is open. There we have his little tongue. And now we're going to do the trees there to the background. Once again, I'm using the light green. 
because sometimes the light comes through the foliage. It's whatever way the sunlight catches it. And when you go all around the garden like that, you're allowing a little piece of white to come in. See that? Same on this side and over here. If you would like yours to have some flowers on it, put them on. All right, there we have it. Now, and the foliage to the front is nice and dark because we can see it, we're up close. Look at that. Up, down, up, down, all around. Thank goodness there's grass to be found. And the same on the other side. We did say that he was down at the watering hole, didn't we? Down at the pond. So we put in a little bit of blue there. He must have been thirsty. And then we put gold, or yellow, just on the ground. Get a sandy look. Because sometimes if you allow that, and I'll show you what to do then. You put in a little bit of brown. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brings it nice and brightly up. Look at that. Okay, we're going to want to show the shadow. Now for getting our little flowers here to the front, the foliage there. And then we're going to put in a little bit of yellow for the centre of the flower. And then we're going to put in the surrounding. Once again with a little bit of darker green. See that on the leaf? There we go. And then to cast a little bit of shading there, look. Even around the pebbles. Fill in a little bit of grey there. Now there's one more thing I have to do, and that's this little pause. Okay, I'm going to use this colour. Now that's the same colour. And use this. There we go. There's one. And there's the other three, and there we have four. No, and there we have our little tiger all up and down, having some water, or maybe even playing in the pond because it could have been a very, very hot day. So, don't be shy, give it a try. Until the next time, bye bye.